Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mapbox. Got another video for you guys today. Today we are going to be looking at this uh, Mapbook Air A1466 model. Uh, looks like it's like 2017, and for some reason it's not powering on. So let's just get right into the repair because we want to see what's going on why it's not turning on. You look, there's a bit of corrosion close to where the trackpad area is, and you can see the red little red dot right here. It usually does indicate liquid, but obviously our eye is drawn to where the trackpad. Uh, connection is. There's also some around this area close to this coil and some caps there. Okay, so why would this area really be important for turning something on? So we see that this is not only the trackpad connection, but this connection goes where? This goes, connection goes, goes all the way to the trackpad, trackpad but, but the trackpad, trackpad also connects, connects to what? This. This is actually a keyboard connection. And what does the keyboard connection connect to? Well, the keyboard connection connects to the what? <laughs> the keyboard. But on the keyboard, we have something here. It's a power button. And usually what, what happens, especially if there is a problem with um, any trackpad cable, but basically what it's going to be doing is it could be impacting the power button. So imagine trying to turn on uh, like this laptop or turn on any type of computer while you're holding down like a reset button, right? All the time. Now, before I totally remove this up, um, I do want to make sure because it's obviously there's corrosion there, it could, it could damage a latch or something. Um, when you have something like this, you, what you want to do is you want to loosen this up first so you don't want to damage anything else because this is the corrosion is going to have resistance on it. So the good thing to do is to get something like this. You probably just get a little bit of alcohol here. We can kind of clean this up before we remove it. Because if we do that. Uh, so this is if you do that before, that, that would be a problem, problem. right? So, so it's, it's going to be loosened up now, okay. and we can actually totally lift up this cable. So we see this here. Look at that, man. Oh, I love this under the microscope. Looks so much better, doesn't it? You guys can actually see it. It's a great instance of why, um, now if I would have just pulled it, sometimes it could be yanking under here, or if there's a big chunk of green or something like that, right, that could be a problem. So we don't want to do that. So right now, it doesn't look to be too terrible, right? So what if I just put a little bit of our 99.99999% alcohol, right, over there? Look how much better that is already. And I want to make sure the flap, because the flap can be easily damaged. But if we take a look here, look how much better that looks, right? The pins look to be fine because if you look at the bottom here of where the pins are, even this one's still a little bit dark, but the bottom of the pins actually looks to be pretty good. So there's no real true impact here, but we still want to make sure that this is like cleaned up. Sometimes I could just scratch it off with a little bit of the alcohol, right? And maybe just get a little bit more of the brush. I don't want to knock off anything. Especially with the brush. Brush is never really the best thing unless you want to try to do what I'm doing, right? Just trying to scrape a little bit, something there. That well, looks to be really good. Well, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks now, right? It looks pretty good. Um, and this also, when you do the alcohol there, it is getting at least, at least under there, under it for the connection. Now, if we take a look at the cable here too, um, the cable was impacted and we probably don't want to be reusing that cable. Right, because look at the cable. The cable has a problem. Well, the traces are damaged on the cable. This is a little bit sticky and a little bit one. I think we can go a little bit more than that. So we can clean this up first. Now we still don't like to look at this because this isn't good enough, right? So what we want to do, let's put some flux here. Surround this area. Why don't we just go a little bit around this area because I want this thing to spread a little bit. And we're gonna use some hot air. little bit in there. It's not too bad, but still it's going to be a problem because it's corrosion. It's going to be impacting something there. So there we go. Let's clean that up. We don't even really need to do much more because that, that just took it completely off there. Right. And sometimes that could be really what's important there. So let that dry off while we're finishing up our work here. Let's flip it over to the back because I just see another chunk of blue. Okay. So we have another chunk of blue here. Looks not too bad. We'll just do the same thing. We could do some little bit of touch up here. Put our new trackpad cable in there. Do a little bit more of a touch up on the board. Let's go ahead and see if it comes on. 
It should. Hope so. Let's see if we get a light and fan spin and stuff, right? So we get our light and we get a fan spin. And it should be going make sure the trackpad it really works. We'll be holding option because we know alright, so the speakers work, right? We see that. Okay, and option means the keyboard's working. That's how we get to our boot menu. And come on, come on, come on, come on. We used to load this first. There we go. And we have a working trackpad, so it looks to be great. Okay, looks like it's going. It's good. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing this A1466 2017 MacBook Air. You see there was some liquid damage. Thankfully it wasn't too bad, and they were able to do a quick little repair for it. Lots of touch-ups. Uh, there are some boring stuff I didn't want to show as well, but I hope you guys were watching if you did please leave like really help us a lot We have cool MacBook liquid spill repairs. We have SMC repairs We have all this other cool stuff on the channel if you want to go ahead and check that out We also do data recoveries as well because we're also data recovery center So hope you guys are watching. Thanks a lot guys. Take care. Bye